Right guys, just a quick look at the One Tigress 50 litre Bushcrafter pack. Uh, I've had this about three or four weeks now from uh, One Tigress. I took it to Bushcraft, uh, Bushcraft show, what do they call it? Edale. Yeah, Edale, Great Northern Bushcraft Conference. Uh, and it's very similar to Maxpedition Volta 2. Uh, you've got your pack pouch here at the front. And you've got the first pocket here with this is a side pouch, we believe it's a side pouch. I think it is a side pouch or it's either goes underneath, which actually comes with it. You've got little pockets for little things like you want to put in, I don't know, maybe a bit of paracord or your torches or batteries or whatever. You've got one big admin pouch there at this side front you've got your little ID case to keep your name in whatever you want to put in that and that does as that we've tried it, it fits on side ish we're not 100% sure where it does fit but uh, it's all well made ever so well made clamshell opening the bottom you can get loads of stuff in it absolutely loads of stuff in it I do believe it might be waterproof I'm not quite sure, but it feels like a waterproof liner that's in it. I would say it could be waterproof. Then you've got another big admin pocket in the main compartment. And you've got your water bladder uh, compartment there. It goes up to the top of here, through there. But all in all, I've people seen it and that, and it rides ever so well. It's not a bad pack at all, to be fair. And I think they're around £57 on Amazon. I'll uh, have a look and I'll put a link below to it. But that's the uh, One Tigress Bushcrafter Pack. It's very tactical, even though they call it Bushcrafter Pack. It's got a lot of molly attachments on it and everything like that. But uh, it's alright. But you've also got loops underneath, which I do like to see. You can always put a bedroll underneath, or a wool blanket, or your sleeping bag, or whatever you want to put underneath. You've got two attachments here. Now whether that's something to do with that pouch, I'm not quite sure, I'll have to look further into that. But uh, I have seen a video with a pouch on the side. Now whether it does fit on the side, or whether it fits underneath on these, I don't know, I'll have to have a little look into it like that. But it does ride ever so well, put it on, and then you can see, obviously I'm a big lad, but uh, it's ever so comfortable. Waist belt don't fit as per usual. Don't fit on anyone. But it rides really well. Oops, spot on. Nice. I like, I like the shoulder pads. They fit, fit really good. Chest strap fits perfect. Waist strap don't fit a big lad like me. So, but they, none of them do apart from Max Pedersen. But it's alright. I like it. I do like it. You get some that don't fit and they don't feel right, but this does. It's got plenty of padding on it, thick padding on on here. And it's, it, it does fit, does feel. You can't tell it's on your back. I know I've no weight in it, but you still can't tell it's on your back even so. But it's spot on. It's all right, it is. So, when I've had it a fair while, I shall do a proper review on it. This is just the first look at it. You know, first impressions and that. It's uh, this bit of padding in your back. With a little bit of an airflow, but not a lot. But then again, for a 50 litre pack, I suppose at that price, you're not going to get, you know, you're not going to get thick padding with big airflows in it like that. But to be quite honest with you, would I buy it if I were going to buy it? Absolutely. I think it's brilliant. It's ever, it's ever so good. It's light. It's it's smashing. Well made. It's all right. Put your morale patches on there, and it comes with a one tiger patch on it anyhow. Like Right guys, that's it for this one, we shall hope to do some more reviews, I've got plenty more reviews to do on One Tiger's products, I've got a new uh, version 2 of the hammock, uh, that's on its way to me now, it's a prototype, they haven't put it sold it yet on Amazon, it's not for sale or anything, uh, but it's on the lines, it looks on the lines of the DDXL front line, with the hoops on it, it's looking that way, so we'll uh, get it up in my garden on my hammock frame. Uh, once I get it, and then I'll show you that. So, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Don't forget, let's be careful out there.